and just you see, I just can't see it because the resolution is so bad. But uh, let me try again. Can you see the bat god in the middle area with his two ears sticking up? And he's got his tongue out, uh, uh, and he's got a big black bead in his mouth, and he's got a cloak, and under the bottom of the cloak here, he's got four triangles, which tells us he ruled the north, the south, the west, and the east of the sky. Now, as I move these around, we come out with lots of other pictures. For example, when I line the two black dots up there, we come out with a small boy here with two eyes. He's got a helmet on. There's lots of pictures. These are very complex pictures. Let me try and get you another composite. Let's try that one. That's the same picture, but a bit brighter. Can you see the small boy now? He's got a feathered hat on. There's his eye, his eye, his nose, his mouth. He's got a, his tongue sticking out of his mouth, and there's actually a snake coming, a, a beast, like the tongue of a snake. On his forehead, he's got the god of sacrifice, which is here, with two earrings, one on either side, with an eye, an eye, and he's got a lotus blossom on his forehead. Beneath the lotus blossom, we have a Buddha figure, cross-legged, praying. Now, this equipment is so bad, I feel embarrassed. You know, I'd rather say, come and stand behind me and look at this on the screen, because you'd appreciate it. I'm fighting a losing battle here, I'll tell you that now. But these are beautiful pictures, and this tells us that this boy was, wore a feathered hat in his previous life. And he's telling us he came to the throne at the age of nine. He was known as the feathered snake to his people. He was the eagle in the sky, the soul, and also the snake on the ground which shed its skin and reincarnated. He was, he's telling us that he was Tutankhamun, the guy with the feathers and the snake on his forehead. He's telling us he was Buddha, cross-legged, praying. He's telling us he was, he was the lord of sacrifice. This is the, the picture at the back. And when we start... There's a, sketch of, there's a sketch of the picture I'm trying to explain. And even that, again, it's very fuzzy because of the resolution of this thing. But here we have the Mayan god of fire and sacrifice called Jaitikutli, also known as Jaipi Totec to the Mayas. And he has a brazier on his back, and they used to put people in the brazier and cremate them. So Jaitikutli wore a helmet to keep the heat off his head. Here we see... The, the small picture of the boy is wearing a helmet. It's telling us he is Jaitikutli, the small boy Jaitikutli, the god of sacrifice. And it's telling us he was a feathered snake. He's got the feathered snake coming out of his mouth here. He's telling us that he, he used to pray cross-legged beneath a lotus blossom. And he's telling us that he was a feathered snake of Egypt, Tutankhamun. Tut Ankh Amun means the living image of Amun, the son of Amun, the son of God, the child of God, God's son. Now, I'm going to have to miss a load of this out because we're just not going to get to it. It also shows us that uh, Lord Pekal was a god of goodness with wings. Uh, and there we have him. He's actually getting up out of the tomb there. We can see his... His feet here, his two feet, his legs, his two arms. He's, he's got a bird's head and a bird's beak. He is the feathered snake, Katzel Kotal, as I mentioned earlier. He's got two wings here. This is the tomb itself. This is the shape of the tomb in Palenque when you walk in, the, the, the limestone beans. He's getting up out of the coffin and he's bowing to the audience beneath a lotus blossom. He's got the, feather, the wings of a bird at the front, the claws. He's got the angel's wings and he's got the head of the bird. And if we turn the angel of goodness upside down, we come up with the bat god, which is the angel of badness. So all of these pictures can be reversed. What's good becomes bad, and what's bad becomes good. That doesn't mean that bad is good or good is bad. It means if you think about the worst day of your life, when you were on the floor crying because you'd failed an exam, or you'd failed your tests, or you lost a child, you thought that day would never end and you were in tears and in pain. But now you, you, you survived and you, today you're in this lecture and you feel so much happier today looking back on that awful moment. If you look back on the nicest moment in your life, the sun was shining, you were walking through the fields with a new partner, the birds were singing, and then you find yourself here. 
not quite the same. So what was good makes you feel bad, and what's bad makes you feel good. So the good becomes the good, and the bad, bad becomes the good, and the good becomes bad. When we look at the decode the mosaic mask, we come out with the God of the North, the God of the East, the God of the West, and the God of the South. And in Revelations, it says, I f- saw four angels coming from the four corners. And uh, I saw a fifth angel, and the fifth angel said, Do not hurt the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard that the number of those that were sealed were uh, 144,000 of all the children of Israel. And that's telling us about the 144,000 on Lord Paykal's head. Now, Giles Healy was an American and in 1947, he was married to a Lacandon Indian in the rainforests of uh, Chiapas in Mexico. And he, eventually, he won the confidence of the Mayas, and they t- took him to their temple in the jungle. And there were drawings on the temple, on each of the walls of the temple. And this is one of the drawings, originally painted, now faded very badly. And the archaeologists, who say that these people swung about in tre- trees, as I mentioned earlier, and ate bananas... They say that this is, must be a group of dancers dressed up as alligators and monsters. Okay. Now, we know better than that because we know, we know, again, the resolution's awful. There's, can you see this cross here? Can you see that? Maybe it's the way I'm looking at it. There's a cross there, and we all know what the cross is, don't we? The cross represents the sun. God is the sun. That's the cross. That's where the Christian cross comes from, the sun, the four sectors of magnetic field. So let's try our decoding technique on the sun. And I know that this picture is about Jaipitotec or Kamashkli. Jaipitotec was like Jaitikutli, we saw earlier, with a brazier on his back. He was a god of sacrifice and skin and foreskin. He, 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 when victims were sacrificed by the Aztecs, they took their skin off and put it over their heads like gloves. And Zhaipitotic was a go- the lord of those who had been sacrificed, and also the lord of hunting. He was a god of hunting. So if we color, cover a few, color a few areas in, there's the cross of the sun. Start off with the sun to see what we've got. Put one on top of the other to start with, just to check again. So there's nothing there except the original picture. Use the sun as a center of rotation and swizzle it around, like so. And there we have a man called Jaipitotec. And we see that he's got a... I'll put a clearer one on in a second. He's carrying two sticks. He's got a foreskin hanging down between his green skirt. He was a god of fertility. So we see his skin, a god of skin and sacrifice. He's got a, a vessel on his head where he carried the seeds of fertility. And his chest is formed by two stags with horns. They've got three horns each. There's one stag's head pe- pointing that way. There's the other stag's head pointing that way. And they've got horns on. So this is a god of fertility, Jaipitotec, the god of skin and foreskin, who was also the god of hunting, hence the association with stags. Now, The stag is associated with the sun because it sheds its antlers every year. And uh, the Jaipitotec is uh, uh, associated with the sun. Now, here's another one. And this one, when we put the transparencies on top of each other, we come out with a picture of Chimalma. Now, there we have the washerwoman at the back. Just a moment. Here we have the washerwoman at the back with her arms folded. She's got a skirt on. She's got one of those rags the Mexican wears on their heads. And in front of her, there's an enormous head there. The guy's standing like that looking at us. The big head and his arms back like an arrow. Now, she's got twins in her belly. Now, Chimalma was the mother of Quetzalcoatl in Mayan mythology. Chimalma got pregnant 